This is how to set up Android apps on managed Chromebooks. So, the first thing to do, we're in device management at the moment in the admin console. Go into Chrome management. There's a number of steps that you have to do. Um, the first one is to go to Android application settings. This needs simply to be enabled. So you have to tick this box and it's already ticked for us. Um, so we're already using Android apps, so that's done. The next thing you have to do is enable it for your users. So if you go into user settings next, and Let's pick my student OU, for example. And what we need to do here is scroll down a little bit to apps. And we need to go to Chrome Web Start. No, we'll do it further. Android applications. Here we go. And what you need to do is select allow here. Don't select allow there, they won't be able to get anything. You've got to set a file my system migration policy. This is new. This really determines what happens when a, a Chromebook that supports Android apps, which was on, let's say, Android version 6, moves to Android version 7. And this is significant for certain types of devices and will be in the future when they upgrade to newer versions of Android. And there is an article here. Um, we've got wipe data on migration set, which means when they do that particular upgrade that upgrades the Android system, it just wipes everything clean, user signs in again, and they'll re-download all their apps. That's a pretty safe option unless the user stores data locally, in which case that would be lost. But in our particular situation, that's not likely, I don't think. Force users to migrate is an option if you want them to keep everything, like any data that might be associated with apps, and it will migrate the file system. The downside of that option is it can take quite a few minutes to do that. So if you had a lot of people in a lesson, but suddenly that had to happen, then that's a little bit of a bottleneck for what's going on. Um, this box is ticked by default, account management. Uh, so you can't add other Google um Gmail accounts, for example, as additional accounts. This one here is important if you do SSL inspection and you've deployed a security certificate, which we have. So you're using something like securely DNS filtering on site, then you would need to enable this or other things that require certificate deploying. So that's it from the user point of view. That won't get them very far though because they won't have any apps. So the next thing you need to do is go and deploy some apps. And that's a couple of step process. And what you need to do is go into app management. And uh, we're going to jump into Android apps here. And the first step of this process is to choose apps that you can um, deploy. So if you click on the big yellow button to approve apps, then uh, all you can all you have to do is uh, search for apps if you want a particular app, or it comes up with some uh, ones that you might like. So all the Google stuff, for example, is here, and you can just click on a particular app to approve it so let's go for this one as an example so this is one that um, links with data logging stuff and i was going to approve anyways you click on approve 
you can approve twiddle your fingers for a little bit I generally select the keep approved keep approved when app requests new permissions um, you can select this one remote app approval um, and you get an email saying this app has new um, permissions and you can review those permissions and reapprove it but most of the time I just approve it so then you just let that save twiddle your fingers a little bit longer have a cup of coffee one thing I found about deploying apps is if you want to do a lot of them all at once then be prepared to dedicate quite a bit of time for it because it can be seriously tedious um, because you have to do them one at a time and you have to approve them one at a time you can't at the moment and I have fed back about this you can't um, mass approve apps or anything mind you this one's taking longer than usual Oh, um. Oh, well, there you go. It's approved. The dialogue box didn't, uh, didn't. Do whatever it was meant to do never mind okay so we've got android apps we're going to search for the app at the moment still the student wouldn't see that app and you can see that it comes up as not configured when i search for it now so i can click onto that app and click on user settings we're nearly there and I can click on the root of my domain or any OU I want to and that setting there will allow anybody to install it who happens to have a Chromebook that's got Android apps you can also force install it or pin it to the taskbar and so on and you can do this by OU and we've got different apps deployed to different people but that's it now you've actually deployed that app to your domain and in the fullness of time that app will appear to your users so you fire up the play store app which you get on chromebooks with um, android apps allowed bear in mind you cannot have the policy to wipe user data set which is what people typically have on a multi-user chromebook and this is really not for multi-user chromebooks because every time a user logs in let's go full screen on the play store every time a user logs in on the play store um, on a new device they'll have to accept the terms and conditions of the play store it'll have to set up the play store that takes a good few minutes and then it will have to download all their apps apps are downloaded per user not per device this is an important thing to bear in mind so I would strongly recommend against trying to use Android apps in a multi-user environment because it just doesn't work. Um, so these are some of the apps we've got. So you don't get the whole Play Store, you just get what you deploy. Um, and when you deploy an app, you'll find that uh, it takes a fairly random amount of time to materialize in the play store so i'm really not expecting this one to be here yet um, i've seen anywhere between a few minutes to a few days for an app to materialize for a particular user and spark view isn't there yet although it is the one i want to use being a chemist uh, so no it's not there yet 
But it will probably appear, especially as it's one they're pushing on the management council. Um, and I've actually saved that, haven't I? Yeah. So that's it. That's really all there is to it. Um, and that's what it looks like once you've done it. And the clock. Simple, but really quite cool. If you need a, a timer on your Chromebook, the clock app is really neat. Anyways, hopefully that clarifies to anybody who wasn't sure how to do it, what's involved in deploying the apps.